All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining. And we're going to speak about, you know, roughly like a run through about. All right, I want to speak about two players. I want to, to really speak about the debutants, all of the debutants of the reggae boy that performed last night. But I think I just, I would just definitely cover two of those players in Deshaun Beckford and Richard King. And the reason why I want to speak about those two players is that now, we can clearly identify that there is talent. There's a lot of talent here in Jamaica, and we have to acknowledge that. We can't continuously bypass looking at the talent that we have here. Now, last night was a prime example of the, the quality talent that we have here. Some, some, yeah, some didn't really um, push on as we would want to, but in, in other aspects, we saw players, we definitely saw players that we, can, we believe that these guys are really, really ready to take the next step. These guys are ready to take that pivotal, that crucial next step. And the time will come where they will be given the opportunity to, to, to shine and, and showcase those ta the talent that they have. Because I, as I said, I honestly believe that um, they deserve their opportunity. And when it's given, I think that they... They, they take I took I think that they, they took the opportunity so as you know um, we're going to get into the details of the video oh let me I do apologize for that Give me a second good so give me a second people so before getting the thing what I want before I get into any details what I want you guys to do um, is ensure that you hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. This definitely will be a short video, people. It will be a short video. But please, people, show me the support by hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe button also. So let's go. Let's get it cracking. Let's get the let's get the show on on board, people. Let's get it on board. good all right so <laughs> how is everyone doing this morning i'm i i'm sure i'm quite sure that most of you would have rest and review the game in your head what you think about that performance and i think a lot of the reggae boy fans would have come to the conclusion that it wasn't the result that we wanted but we can say we take a lot of positives from it. Um, some of the positives are the young players are really, really brewing and hungry to, to put in a performance, to get themselves um, in the eyes of the coach and to make themselves known to the Jamaican um, people and also the diaspora. Everyone who's watching that game, I think a lot of people would have taken a lot from it. So there's two players I want to speak about spe specifically, and that is Deshaun Beckford are the Shane Beckford and Richard King. Now, let's, let me get on to the Shane Beckford first because his performance in one, in one which you can say is, is based off two halves. Um, it was based off two halves due to the fact that, um, how could I put it now? All right, in the first half, you could see that he was very much active, getting involved. And he had some very much, some good skill set. He had some really, really intricate skill set that I like. His pace is one. His pace is one. Quick. The guy is rapid. The guy is rapid, people. Also, if you guys would have noticed that whenever he receives the ball, it doesn't matter how much players are around him. The ball sticks to his feet. And he knows how to maneuver. He knows how to maneuver in those close spaces. Um, he gives the left back for the, Peru the Peruvian left back a lot of problems. I think his name was Nielsen. He gave Nielsen a lot of problems. He couldn't contain Bedford. So these are the stats. Um, these are the stats for Bedford. I didn't get to write them though, but I do have them here on, on this on this app. Um, so he had a total of one shot, which was the only shot we had on target. 
that was the header. Um, he was the only shot we had on target, people. <laughs> um, he made a total pass of 12. Um, I think he was quite involved. His passing accuracy was 83%. He had 31 touches and he was fouled twice. He also get, got involved in the defensive aspect um, and he made three tackles, which all three of them were completed at 100%. So, this Shane Beckford, on an essence, I think that for the first half, he, he gave us some, some good moments, some really, really good moments. And I thought that he just couldn't um, maintain that high level. And then he just, if he kind of faded away. So even his substitution um, was understandable. It was really, really understandable in the latter stage. Because you could see that he was fading. People, please, guys, smash the like button. Smash the like button. Um, John Doe said Fletcher and Vassal Whitmore gave... Um, I'm trying with them uh, and in confused. Well, um, I thought Vassal, I, I thought um Vassal had a fear enough. I had, he had a fear enough game. Some of the passes weren't coming off, but it's not like we I would beat him, but I think that he had a good game. Big up Jeremy and Swaby, one of the members of the channel. Massive respect, bro. Thank you for coming in. It's been a while, and hopefully you're doing good. So let's get on to the player that I think that um if you put aside Walker. Because I would consider Walker as a senior player. Um, even Javian Brown, I would consider Javian Brown also a senior player. I would definitely consider, um, consider Javian Brown a senior player. So we're going we're gonna to look at one of the, the debutants. You know, and if you should say that in regards to in accordance to performance, this would be one of the best debut as a young Jamaican um, coming into the Reggae Boys team, you can say one of the best I have seen in a long while. Now, a lot of people might disagree with that. Many people might disagree with that. I, um, but for me, I honestly believe that I honestly believe that this player, Richard King, he stepped up the, the he stepped up the debutant plate at diff, on a different level. When this guy is stepping, I'm like, all right, let's see what he has. Let us see what he has. Let's see what he can do. Let us see what he can do. And for sure, without a doubt, without an ounce of a doubt, I am convinced, I am very much convinced that this player can go to an extreme, an extremely high level. No, I know people would disagree with me. Many people would disagree with me. <laughs> A lot of people disagree with me, but people, if you should watch over this game, like what I did this month, that, because that, that is the only way I could have actually received some of the stats, um, this guy was impressive. This Shane Bedford, first half, yes, he has the first half unlock. Oh, guys, before I go any further, please, guys, smash the like button. Please, people, smash the like button. Smash it, smash it, smash it. If you like the, if you like the video, just smash the like button. Um, so, this player, throughout the entire 90 minutes, was solid, was solid, solid, solid. You can see a little bit of the immaturity in regards to when he should go down. For example, I think one time when he made a recovery and he had, he was in position. I think two Peruvian players were, was in around him at that point in time, and he could have simply go down and win us, win an easy, easy foul, and then we start over again. But what he did, he went on and actually boot and 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 and, and protected the ball and booted down not down wing, but. It's not a sense that he did something wrong, but I'm saying that as he gets mature, as maturity kicks in, you will see where these little things, he will start doing these little things, going down when, when he comes under that heavy, intense pressure, and then the, the game can restart. Big up, Ryan LFC. Massive respect. Ryan, we see I beat some people this morning, man. <laughs> Big up, bro. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I, I, I can clearly say that this player, you can, I would say that all right, so he has the highest match rating um, from, the, from the app that I took the, 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 the stats from. Um, Richard King and Javier Brown had, had the highest stats. These guys had the highest stats throughout the game. Highest. Highest match rating. Highest match rating. Both of them. So let's look at his, his, his statistics on a, on, a, on a different level now. So 90 minutes played. He had a total of 67 touches, which was a lot. Um, we don't normally have defenders with that amount of touches. <laughs> normally, the most touch one of our defenders have would be like 30. <laughs> would be like 30. 
So I think that the, how we start to play now, the change of system um, is actually doing us a lot better. So he had 67 touches. He completed 44 out of his 49 passes at 90%, which is really, really good. I like that. Um, one of the things that I realized with him is that he's so good. He's so good with his feet, with the ball at his feet. And I think that is one of the reasons why Paul Hall went for Amal Knight in the goal over Jaden White. Amal Knight is, is quite good with the ball at his feet. He's really, really good at the ball at, at, at his feet. Not saying that Jaden White cannot do that. Jaden White, um, maybe aerially, like in the goal, his positioning is, is a little bit better than Amal Knight. But with the ball at his feet, um, I think that um, Amal Knight is better than Jaden um, White. But Jaden White, in aspect, is very, very good in, in goalkeeping, his positioning. He's not the tallest, but it does make up for his positioning. Really, really good with positioning. And you can see some of the aspects that I highlighted in much um, much review about um, Amal Knight positioning. So, let's get on to this. So, he encountered in two tackles at fit and he completed one of those. That's 50%. He made seven clearances two interceptions and he made two blocks one recovery one recovery and he encountered in five duels and he won three out of them now one of the key factors we should remember with this player is the guy is only 20 years old which is saying that he only can get better he can only get better, people. That's all. That's, that's all I'm saying. He can only get better. That there was a solid, solid performance from a young man. This team that we're playing against, they play so calm. He's composed. Even under pressure, he's extremely calm and composed. And some of the time, like, boot it out, boot it out. But he didn't do that. He, 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 he won the ball. He take control of the ball. He take control of his grid, his square. And he, and he plays confident. He plays a lot of confidence. And I and I really, really like that um, in the player. No, he made three passes as well to break the press. Another key factor is his passing ability. If you should look at his diagonal passes, when he's over to the far left, when he's over to the far far left and he spring those diagonal pass to, to, um, to Javier Brown over on the right-hand side, when there's an overload, the Peruvian players are overloading on the left-hand side, he would just pick up the ball and one ping diagonal pass straight onto Javian, Javian Brown's feet over onto the right-hand side. And I'm saying, this guy knows what he's doing. He could have easily passed it to Damien Lowe, but he realized that the striker is zoning the passes. So he just one pick over the top, beat the zone. And also, the, 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 the passes that he, he does to break the, 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 the Peruvian press. I'm really, really impressed with that also. They press us high, you pick a pass, find... um um um. Aka in the midfield and also find um, even one of the wingers when they come short inside of the midfield channel to break the press. And he's good. One or two times, I saw him pick up the ball, dribble past one player and then and then play it inside. Even I, I, I also saw um, Damien Lowe did the same thing. But people, he is a beast. And remember, he's only 20 years old, people. This guy is a beast. <laughs> and I won't go any in any more detail um into this video so I, that is just one of the one of the things that i wanted to to highlight um so um guys in the in the same sense make sure that you smash the like button make sure that you hit that subscribe button people make sure you hit that subscribe button as you know or we're, we're trying to grow the channel so people um big up people thank you very much for coming in let, right, let me get in the comment section before we do that that would be disrespectful of me um people hopefully everyone is doing good g bears are up um, Carson White said, them and Walker handle themselves themself good. Agree. Um, that's how I say Walker. Walker, Walker is a senior player, so Moon put him in it. <laughs> um, Carson said, no man and the work. Um, the rocks. No, I wouldn't say that. No. Remember, it's not every player you see turn up on their debut and really, really take it like that. Some players would, would, would be a bit shy on their debut, and I think maybe that's what happened to Fletcher. He tried, he tried though, he gets off a few shots, but literally skied them. But you can't say that he's, he's rocks. Um, he tried. He actually tried. He really, really tried. John Doe said, I didn't, I didn't see no quality. Um, I would advise you to re-watch the game, John Doe. I really would. Dwayne Morrison said, big up MG, big up Dwayne. Uh, when will the squad be released? I'm not sure. Possibly by... Whew, today's what? Today's Friday. Wow, the week done. Possibly by early, early, maybe Sunday, Monday, I think, latest. Big up T-Dog. 
Top Farm said Beckford have quality and King. Um, Dwayne Morrison said, when will this squad be released? Just answered. Um, John Doe said Deshaun Beckford alone. Um, I, that's his reason. I said, you need to rewatch a game. You need to rewatch a game. Um, Javian, um, Jav uh, Javon said Beckford rapid. Agree. Quick. Carson White said he was open to see um, Chang though. That's disappointing. Yeah, I, I, I was open to see Chang. And I can clearly remember when I uh, someone tweeted that the coach is really, really impressed with Chang. And when the person tweeted that, I'm like, okay, so more than likely we saw Chang. We will see Chang. But guess what? <laughs> no Chang. <laughs> but that's how football is. That's how it is. Um, John Doe said Fletcher and Vassal Whitmore gave the the, the Fletcher and Vassal tap a try with them still. I'm confused. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Boss Thomas said Beckford is the right winger. Yes, he is. Um, blessings again, Jeremy and Swaby. Jabon said this was Akka's testimonial. Yeah, I heard that he deactivated his, his Instagram account. I wouldn't know because he blocked me. So <laughs> more than 16 people here, people. Smash the like button, people. Please smash the like button. Kemar Carr said. King was very impressive and Deshaun was good first half and the second he was tired. Yeah, you could see that. All the running and the chasing. Big up again, Ryan LFC. Pagan said, big up, Buna. Oh, Pagan, massive respect. Thanks for coming in, bro. I really appreciate it. Visionary Allen said, I like, I like that they stuck with the passing and didn't change it even though they were under pressure. That is a good fact. That is a good point to highlight. Really, really good point. Um, t Dog said, Turgo looked like schoolboy keeping. Agree. I didn't like it. His position is quite poor. Really, really poor for me. King full of potential. He can max if he remains in the setup. Agree. Kurt Steele said the baller a general. That are the, um the, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. <clears throat> JD said, hello, I'm from Peru and I say your channel is really good. I hope Jamaican gets to the World Cup. Big up J um GD. Um massive respect. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Um, from the Peru Peruvian fans. You guys played really, really well last night. You could see an experienced team, uh, a team that is actually working together for a long while. So definitely that will prevail. Tyrese Beckford, big up. Richard King is a great player, bro, from Clarendon College days. No surprise about that. The man, them, the man, um, the man, you know, make, we, no kick we ball. He always tried to find his teammates. Good. Um, Issa Allen said Fletcher actually played a good first half and held the ball well. That's true. Make some. Lovely third inside as well. He was linking up with Vassal and helping the team up the pitch. Um, at one point, I realized that he was coming too deep to defend. You could see where um, Paul Hall called him over to say, okay, um, you have to keep keep the high press and stay in your position. And that is when I don't see, I didn't see him come back deep again. Um, Debo Zilla said, morning, what really happened last night? Um, we, we tried, we tried, but we played a better team. Um, why wasn't Paris there? Um, I, I thought I, the agent said that Paris is that will, won't be available because of personal reasons. That's the, that's what the agent said. Andrew, big up Andrew Downing. Um, big up MG. Fresh God, big up again. Thanks for coming, Fresh God. All is there. Big up. Massive respect, Fresh God. Robert King said Paul Hall um, need keepers. Um, need keep need to keep King. Oh yeah, I think I think what I've you know when I when I was looking at him, I'm like this guy looks like he's ready. For this level, that's what I was. That's that's the only thing I was saying in, in my mind. This guy looks like he's ready for this level. Um, Logan, big up. Walker needs to just let go the ball. Mm -hmm. You hold on. You hold on to the ball far too long. Some quick passes, but he hold on to the ball far too long. Top form said Walker took took too many touches, but he played all right. Agree. Um, Walker quick to hey, minutes. That's a Walker fast. No quick. <laughs> you pressure the right back. I'm, I think I was. Um, I think I was. Zarko or something. I think that's Zarko. Let me see what the right back name. Uh, let me find it. Take out my notes. Where's where my notes? Where's my notes? Where is my notes? Ooh, my notes. Can't, ah, can't, can't find the people. I can't find it. I don't remember his name. I don't remember his name. Uh, okay, um, Carzo. Yeah. First half, I see energy. And second half, I see three that still didn't look good enough not um not even one bro i just stopped watching i love jamaica but i don't like to see them lose that, that's that, that's 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 everyone that's everyone bro i'm on night a shopkeeper i wouldn't say that it's just his positioning and really really need to work on his positioning um personal reason this was his chance i agree paris would have would have light up <laughs> tell the truth dangerous player really really dangerous player 
Um, the version six said Jamaica side seems much better and, and composed, and we feel the winger, they might got benefit to Paul Hall's system. Yes, we use up the wingers a lot. We use them up a lot. Linval Salman said, military, Asala, the team look good. King, Walker, Deshaun had a good game. I agree. They, they really, really had a good game. Um, Logan said, Aka, disable his Instagram page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, it's tough, you know. It's tough on him, you know, because he didn't pick himself. Although I see a lot of people saying that he should decline the call-up, but he didn't pick himself, people. So, and in the first 15 to 20 minutes, you can say that Aka, he, hold, he held his own. You could say that he held his own in his first 15 to 20 minutes. But after that, the walking is unbearable to watch. Andrew said, this was a JFF selection team, not Paul Hall. Can't wait to see a full 23 from Paul Hall. Um, remember now, Paul Hall is trying to see some players that he would love to integrate into the first team setup. So he, he said it himself. And I think that um, the, the likes of um, Richard King has definitely made himself um, knock on that door. Basically, kick down the door. <laughs> Richard King kicked down the door, people. And I'm really, people, I'm really, really impressed with this young man. Um, very, very impressed with this young man. And I think that he has the potential to really elevate this team. Um, how he defends his, his, his calmness, his composure. Really, really like that. And I love my defenders. When you see the, a defender not engaging in a lot of tackles after going to ground, you have to look at those defenders. Do, those defenders are ruining the game properly. They know when to press, they know when to, to ease off. I don't like when I, say, I don't like to see my defenders going to ground. I, I never like seeing that. I like my defenders who can just read the game, go across, and, and, and pick up the ball. Uh, Mr. Primo Vision, big up. People, it's, um, go and check out Mr. Primo Vision. People, this guy is doing some, a lot of good work. Uh, Mr. Primo, Primo Vision said, up going uh, with this set of young players, Jamaica should try to qualify for the Olympics. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Of course. Of course, we could. We could. I think we should have, a, we should have at least have an Olympic team last season. I really believe so. We should have had, a, have had an Olympi uh, Olympic team last season. So, people, um, it's minutes to 12. I have to go and prepare for the, the, the premier, the, the, no, the, the schoolboy football games that are coming up. As you know, I, I'm a big fan of the schoolboy football. Time will come. So, people, good to, guys, please remember to smash the like button. I'm heading out now. Please, guys, remember to smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as you know, it has been really, really a good one, people. And I'll see you guys again. Until next time, people. Military Guna TV, people. I'm out. Whoa! Wow.